the father, the mother, and their twin daughters. Sue and Annie live together happily. The twin daughters one day saw that. Their father and mother were very worried and sad. Sue asked, What is the matter, mother? Why are you worried? The mother said, The village landlord wants us to vacate this house. Annie said, But this is our house. It is in the name of father. The landlord says that this house belongs to him, replied the mother sadly. Father, who is in the right in this case? asked Annie. You know, Annie, that I never cheat. My grandfather had bought this house with his hard-earned money. And my father lived here all his life, said father. So, is he cheating us? asked Sue. Yes, Sue. Had the house belonged to the landlord, I would have surely vacated it, replied father. The next morning, the village landlord came with some bad men and said, It has been decided that on Monday, the lawyers and the police will come. Before that you have to hand over the keys of the house to me. If you do not leave the house and go away, my men will kill you all. After the landlord had gone away with his men, the father said, Let us pack our things and leave the house. He will not let us stay here anymore. Sue said, No, father. This is our house, and some bad people cannot make us leave it. We love this house, and shall always live here. No one can make us vacate our own house. But what can we do? asked the father. The twins talked for some time, and then Sue said, Just get a lot of honey and cotton wool. The father trusted his daughters, and he bought a lot of honey and cotton wool. They had three very small rooms, side by side in their house. In one room, Sue and Annie spread all the honey. And in the other, they put all the cotton wool. On the day, the lawyers had to come. The landlord came with his bad men and told them to wait outside the house. He wanted to go into the house but he found all the doors locked. Only one door was open. He opened the door and went in the room filled with honey. He rushed in and in doing so slipped on the honey-covered ground. He fell down with a loud thud. Cursing the people of the house. He got up with great difficulty for he kept slipping on the honey. Grumbling and fuming with anger. He went to the next room. 
and found it to be full of cotton wool, which stuck to the sticky honey all over his body. Meanwhile, the landlord's lawyer, the people from the court, and the police were waiting outside the house. His lawyer told his men, Call the landlord. If he is not here, then he shall have no claim on the house. Then he cannot ask this family to move out. Some of the landlord's men said, this family has kidnapped our master. He went inside the house some time back and hasn't come out. Sue said, We didn't see anybody. Nobody has come here. And if he doesn't come for another ten minutes, then this house is ours. The men quickly started looking for their master. As the girls had bolted the front door, they tried the other doors. They finally entered the room with the honey, and then ran to the room with the cotton wool. Just like the landlord, then they screamed as they saw a furry creature who angrily said, Hush! I am the landlord! They shouted, Master! You look funny! But go out at once! Or you will lose the house! Hurry up! and they opened the other door. That led to the front room and pushed the landlord out. All the people were shocked to see a huge mass of cotton wool walk out of the house. It looked like a furry, white animal and everyone laughed. The furry animal shouted, I am the landlord! I have come! This house is mine! The police officer said, No, you are wrong. This house rightfully belongs to this family. We have seen the papers thoroughly. You are in the wrong. Just then, all the bad men also came out, covered all over with sticky cotton wool. Everyone was now laughing at them, and the landlord shouted at Sue, Stop laughing! You have cheated me by putting! All that honey and cotton wool in the rooms. But we did not invite you inside, said Annie. It was wrong of you to go into their house before we came. So now come with us to the police station, said the police officer. The landlord and the bad men were taken to the police station. And the family lived happily in that house.